Having a brilliant catch up with our guest this morning. She's been delivering hits for over 40 years with her band as, and as a solo artist with The Pretenders. An amazing gig at Glastonbury last month, which you may have been there for, you may have seen on the telly. And there is a brand new album on the way. Uh, good morning. Welcome back to the Breakfast Show. Thank Christy Hyde, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, yeah, how great. much did you love that gig at yeah, Glastonbury? Yeah, it was fun. And getting Johnny Marr on was great. Great to be reunited with Johnny because, uh, you know, we played together in the past. And we're on a mission to bring back cool. We've decided that cool is dead, so that's we're, we're on to it. <laughs> and then, of course, Dave Grohl got on stage, so that was... And, you know, the, my band is awesome, so the whole thing was fun. It really was. You sounded tight as anything. And I have to say, you know, so Dave Grohl's there as the surprise and the churn-ups, and then you guys were a surprise as well, and then he's a surprise during your surprise. The whole thing and, was just and joyous. And I drank Paul McCartney on stage. Yes, I and know. I've, I've never seen him shy. Paul McCartney's always game, and he's always... But because he wasn't playing, I said, come on out, and he sort of backed off, and oh, I thought, bless this him. is the Paul that no one's seen before. I so know. you're welcome, world. Oh, thank you for the gift, <laughs> the gift of that. I I think that's a really, it's another thing that I really enjoy about Glastonbury is not only are people fans of Glastonbury and the people who go and the people who watch it on television, some who, who can't go, it's, all the, it's great seeing the musicians playing with each other, supporting each other, hanging out with their heroes. Sometimes in a crowd you'll see other band members watching another band and loving it. Yeah, I so wanted to go see Lana Del Rey, but, you know, it was getting across the field and there, were, there was a curfew if you didn't leave at a certain time. Whereas now I find out that if I hadn't left, I might have been there for the uh, Axl Rose, uh, the legendary... <laughs> After show rant. Well, yes, he was in the bar behind where we were staying, and I missed it, Chrissy, because I went to bed early. I had my daughter Nell with me, and apparently he held court in the bar all night. I mean, because you've been on tour. I've with been Guns on tour, them, yeah, yeah, but uh, I haven't stayed for the three-hour show. No, okay, but uh, it's it's on the cards. It's it on the cards. Happen. It is going to happen. Um, so, book called Reckless, um, and now a new Pretenders album on the way called Relentless. What is it? with you and these words at the moment Chrissy where are these coming from what's the meaning behind well Reckless was just a, yeah. the, the sort of light version of my leaving the states and getting a band together yeah. and then that crashed and burned so I sort of ended it there in the book not in my life because I'm still here yeah <laughs> and um, Relentless again it's just to, to keep doing it yeah and I think that's what relentless means. Yeah, to keep going. absolutely. Keep going. Uh, you know, we're talking about some uh, amazing, you know, Tony Bennett, um, who passed away recently. Oh, I loved him. Oh, he was my favourite of the crooners. Oh, the crooners. What? Uh -huh. Such a gen and such a songbook. And he kept going. He was performing until yeah, quite Dylan. late in his life. Yeah, Dylan. Neil Young will probably be back. Huh? Yeah. I think it's the thing, isn't it? To, to keep, If you do something you love, you've got to keep doing it. And also, you can't really retire from your hobby. Yeah. Because I often hear people will say to me, people who don't do do this they'll say why is Bob Dylan why is Paul Mc why are they all still doing it they don't have to and I'll say well they never had to yeah you know this is this is what they love this is it's yeah. fun it is fun and it's your lifeblood and why would you not and thank goodness uh, you know people carry on because we get to come and see our heroes and when I see people in the audience I, can, I look around and I can see all the people I can see what they're thinking oh I wish I still played bass oh, I yes. wish I hadn't given up I know I know hopefully that will encourage anyone at home who's, who's I'm not trying that. to encourage anyone to play bass don't, yeah. don't all right. get me okay. wrong on that. <laughs> I love the bass. There are some amazing bass players in the world. Where would we be without bass players? Oh, are you kidding? Bootsy Collins? I mean, yeah. we're, we're... Oh, he, he bass was... was cool. Bass was very cool very at cool. one time. Yeah, absolutely. And um, oh, still is. He, he came to stay once and he had these incredibly high boots on Chrissy. They were like probably about six inches and he was, he was sort of bouncing the beat amazing. when he was recording with Norm and he put his foot through the heart, uh, put his foot through the floor and then it was left there as the hole that Bootsy oh, Collins fabulous. put his boots I tried through. to copy those boots <laughs> on an album cover Last of the Independence by Vivian Westwood for boots that amazing. was my Bootsy Collins moment <laughs> it's amazing so new album we're going to play A Love what can you tell us about this Chrissy? this probably is the more pretenders sounding song on the album in the sort of trad sense um, we do three songs a sort of uh, I guess ballad mid-tempo which this is and then our rock Thing, yeah. which I more associate with the rock element, but this yeah. is more the radio. Okay. And uh, that's about it, really. Okay, we'll talk more about the album after we play A Love uh, from The Pretender's new album.
seriously love this new song for the Pretenders, Martin in Essex, uh, Julian Scotland. Chrissy is a goddess, a great female role model. If I could have her recipe for staying so youthful, please, says Julie. <laughs> what is the recipe for staying youthful, Chrissy? The recipe? Well, yeah. vegetarian diet, obviously. I've been saying that for 50 yeah. years. And that's it, really, and a bit of philosophy and... Yeah, I suppose it's... Uh, I'm, who said I'm youthful? Anyway, I'm enjoying getting old, and I, uh, I'm i much happier older, so... Yeah, that it, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? You kind of fight the fight, and you have the the wild years and the, the crazy bit, and then as you get older, there's the worry about getting older, and then you are like, no, it's great. Yeah, I never worried about it. In fact, yeah. I, I enjoy things much more as I'm older because I'm more relaxed... We're bringing back cool, you, yes. myself, okay. and Johnny Marr. Right, I love that. I'd love to be included in that <laughs> group. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, I, I didn't need to know more about that. Bringing back cool is, is so, so good. Yeah, cool is dead. Uh, I know. Bring it back. Chrissy, you will do that. Uh, sorry, has Chrissy's voice aged at all? No. The definition of cool, says Stuart in Leatherhead. Did he say that? Yeah, we're bringing it back. See, I hope Stuart, Johnny's boom. listening. Uh, we watched Chrissy and the Pretenders at Glastonbury. Amazing. Uh, set then went up uh, the sign to watch the sunset with Paul McCartney. We only saw his Land Rover. That's Moya from Ramsbottom. Well, there you go. Is. There we go. Amazing. So are you, you're going to be playing f- for us um, Radio 2 in That's the park. Right. Yes, we are. We're absolutely thrilled to have you guys on board. Um, have you spent a m- lot of time in the Midlands? We're all off to Leicester. You I must- do love it there. Well, yeah. actually, in Rutland, uh, I have a, a non-slaughter dairy farm which I support Ooh, called wow. Inahimsa Farm. So okay. I go up there when I can. And I love the Midlands. I love the North. Anyway, I like going North yeah. in England. Everybody knows how to have a good time. And I just heard a Birmingham accent out there with your oh, weather Richie, report. Oh, yeah, Richie, fantastic. he love is that. a legend. He is, he is such a good lad. Are you going to play any more dates this year? Are you off in Europe? Are you, what else yeah, are you guys up to? Yeah, we're going to the States with some Guns N' Roses. See, the Guns okay. N' Roses, they play stadiums, but I like clubs. Yes. But you can't keep playing clubs. And we're not doing it as a special secret show. We, we just yeah. like playing clubs. Yeah. But they're kind of a money loser unless you're all piled in a van with no crew and no sound man. Yeah. And humping your own gear. So we do Guns N' Roses so we can pay for the clubs. You see, that's how it works. That's and how it works. why is it that you love playing clubs? What is it about those venues? Well... Everyone prefers being in them. I certainly would rather go see a band in a club. So there's that because I'm still an audience member. Um, And also it's just more fun. It's a small stage. You don't need a lot of, you know, special stuff around you. Yeah. And you can see everyone and they're right in your face and it's... It's a laugh. That's why you're there. It is. Uh, it, there is a great feel of being in, in, in a community and the kind of feeling like you can just do, you, know, you can dance, you can lose it, you can sweat and you can sing. Yeah, and you, I, if, if I see some crazy in the audience, I can really feed off of that. <laughs> and you can't see it when you're too far away. This is a very good point. Yeah. Um, tell, talk us a little bit through through the album and, uh, you know, some of the people you've worked on the, al- the album with and the sounds that we're going to hear when it comes out. The, uh, it's mainly James Walborn, who's yeah. been my go to my guitar hero for the last 15 years um he's also in a band on the side called his lordship with some other guys that work on the album you know it's become a sort of pretenders collective like uh, david wrench yeah. is the producer who was also a, a riot to work with you know that's the thing this has been a fun project um carwin ellis played on it who has his own projects um chris sonny who we've worked with much in the past. I don't even know if I'm Chris Hill, Stand Up Bass, um, uh, Dave Page. I can't even remember the names of my own band anymore. But um, <laughs> uh, Oh, no, it's an, an excellent team. Well, the album is coming out on the 15th of September. Uh, Love, the new single, is out now. Um, and, and Chrissy, we had the sad news overnight that um, Sinead O'Connor had Sinead died. Sad, and yet I'm happy for her. She got out. She was a really fun person. I did. I put together a, a big concert for Linda McCartney when she died, and uh, Sinead was part of that, and she was such a riot to hang out with. Yeah. She was a good, fun person, but she was always angling for, you know, some stirring it up. She yeah. was a real poking the hornet's nest kind of a... Yeah. And certainly a one-off and a huge talent and all the stuff that you read about. But um, I was glad to see she got out of it, to be honest. She's had... 
you know, a hard time in the last few years. Yeah, she'd and, really uh, struggled with her mental health, hadn't she? And she lost yeah, her Yeah, she's uh, in, yeah. Uh, without question in a better place because she was a tender hearted person. And uh, so, you know, she will be fly on, sweet angel. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Christy, for coming to see us. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the park um, and very much looking forward to the album coming out. Christy Hine, thank you. Love to the band as well. And we'll play Sinead O'Connor. Nothing compares to you. It's been